everyone. Today we're going to be talking about reaction stoichiometry. We've been exploring stoichiometry for a few weeks now with our conversions between moles, grams, and atoms. And today we're going to tie in our balanced equations to that concept of stoichiometry. We're going to be using the coefficients from our balanced equations to help us predict how much of each of our substances will form. So we're going to be doing a quick demonstration with you today uh, using vinegar and baking soda and we're going to take a look at how that reaction takes place, uh, how our products are formed, and we're going to do some calculations to figure out uh, something called the limiting reactant and the excess reactant. Here we have a series of Erlenmeyer flasks, each containing 20 milliliters of acetic acid or vinegar. In each of these balloons, I have a different amount of baking soda. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to put the balloons on top of these Erlenmeyer flasks and watch our reaction occur. Okay, so I'll empty the baking soda and we'll wait for that to, to react. While that one's going, I'm gonna get the next one started. So our first Erlenmeyer flask contained five grams of baking soda or sodium carbonate. Our second flask now contains 10 grams in addition to the 20 milliliters of acetic acid or vinegar. My third flask contains 20 grams. So we're keeping the amount of vinegar the same in each of the flasks and we're varying the amount of baking soda. Flask four has 20 grams of sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. And finally, flask five has 30 grams of baking soda. So I'm gonna give these a little swirl, get our reaction to keep going here. And we're gonna let these sit for a few minutes until the reaction has completely finished. And here we have our finished reactions. You can see that balloons one and two have not completely inflated, but it looks like balloons three, four, and five have inflated at about an equal amount. Remember, each of our flasks contained a varying amount of sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. Each amount is recorded on the little card that the flask is sitting on. And you can see that flasks one and two appear to be pretty clear with no excess baking soda left over. Whereas flasks three, four, and five appear to have some amount of baking soda remaining at the bottom. Less in flask three, but more in flasks four and five. What I'd like you to do now is use the amounts of uh, baking soda that are listed on each card to determine the number of moles of baking soda that was used in each flask. Remember, we used the same amount of vinegar in each flask. Uh, it, we used 20 milliliters of vinegar for every single reaction. The only thing that was changing was the amount of baking soda, and those amounts are listed individually on the cards.